So we're going to have a look at achieving a Kimura from side control using an underhook. So, however we've got to the side control position, we've got Neil's elbow shelved on the hip there, and we've got control of that side, or we've got our hands joined together to begin with. What I'm going to do first is start to take control of this underhook and turn him in towards me. At the same time, I'm going to use my top arm to shave the top of his head and apply pressure on the back of his head with my elbow. Straightening this arm out is going to give a good block so he can't start moving his head back this way. If this isn't there, he's going to be able to put pressure back. So I'm going to bring that in and start sucking his head up onto the top of the thigh at the same time as we pull in with this. My elbow here is going to come across the stomach and then drop down so I can apply more pressure to his rib cage here at the same time as I'm shelving his head on my thigh. That's going to do everything to start turning him in towards me. Now my knee position on this side, I need to free up this leg so I can take a big step round. So I'm going to bring my right knee up now from the hip. I'm going to bring it up into the arm here as I make a space for that. The leg can come back. I'm turning him in and I'm going to take a big step round the top of his head to bring my knee onto the, side, onto the side of his ribs, onto the back and pinch his torso. So we're there, stuffing the head down to make space for my leg to come over and pinch it in this position. From there, we need to make a switch of the arms. I can't Kimura with the grip on this side, so I need to bring that in there and get a double wrist lock. So Neil's wrist and my wrist. Then from there, we're gonna keep that tight to the body, lift up, and then try and stick his thumb in his shoulder blade to get the finish. Okay.